This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Nancy Moeller. Hello, everyone, and welcome to TV44's High School Whiz Quiz Fall Season of 2019. All right, you're going to see some familiar faces in these two games that we're going to show you tonight. First off, we have players from Van Wert and Elida High Schools, and we're going to introduce you to those players right now. Joining us from Elida, we have Ethan Bowersock, Molly Wright, Cody Kreitz, and John Free. Elida is coached by Shelby Klutz. Welcome back to all of you. All right, turning now to Van Wert. Playing for Van Wert is Kaylee Jennings, Natalie Schneiber, Schreiber. Gosh, okay, I'll get it right. We have Cadence Bowen and William Ogden. All right, Van Wert is coached by Anita Zuber. That's why I'm here and I'm not there, okay? All right, here you go. We have our first round of questions. We're 10 points apiece. Make sure you get those buzzers ready. And you know, we've told you before, but it's really important that you speak up as loudly as you can and make your answers as complete as possible, okay? All right, let's go with question number one in this first round of this game. Which Italian city whose name begins with the letter M is home to the famous La Scala Opera House? Yes, that would be Van Wert. Milan. Milan is correct. Give the full name of SIDS, the number one killer of babies. Yes, that would be Van Wert. Sudden Infant Death Syndrome. You are correct. Sudden Infant Death Syndrome. Question number three. Which German mechanical engineer developed an internal combustion engine that uses oil as fuel? Elida. Uh, Werner von Braun. That is the incorrect answer. So Van Wert, you've got a chance to take this one. No? All right, the answer is Rudolf Diesel. All right, moving on, number four. What is the capital of Florida? Yes, Van Wert. Uh, Orlando. Orlando is incorrect. Elida, you've got a chance. Tallahassee? Tallahassee is the answer. Which state is due north of New Mexico? Yes, Elida. Utah. Utah is incorrect. Van Wert, you want to try it? Yes. Nevada. That is also incorrect. Colorado is the answer there. All right, number six. Name the large artery that carries blood away from the heart. Yes, Elida. The carotid. Carotid is incorrect. Van Wert, you can try. Atrial ventricular. Oh, do I buzz it? That is incorrect. The answer that we're looking for is aorta. All right, number seven. Which young girl's family was sheltered for several years during, yes, that would be Van Wert. Anne Frank. Anne Frank is the correct answer. All right, you have three questions remaining in this first round. Identify the Scandinavian country that borders Sweden and Finland. Yes, that would be Van Wert. Norway. Norway is correct. What is half the cube of six? Yes. Um, yeah, 80. Okay, Elida, you got a chance. 108. 108 is the correct answer. Okay, your final question in this first round. Which word beginning with P is used to describe water that is uncontaminated or considered safe for drinking? Yes, it would be Elida. Potable? Potable is the answer. All right, we've come to the end of our first round in competition between Van Wert and Elida. Here's our score. Elida with 30 points, Van Wert with 40. We'll be back with rounds two and three right after the break. Don't go anywhere. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by 
QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. Right, we are moving into rounds two and three of our game right now between Van Wert and Elida. Here is our score. Van Wert with 40 points. Elida, you have 30. That means, Van Wert, you're going to lead this round. Five questions. They're all yours. We're five points apiece. Everybody get ready to ring in that buzzer anyway, okay? Who was confirmed as the first Chief Justice of the U.S. Supreme Court in 1789? Yes. John Jay. John Jay is the answer. Name the country whose capital is Glasgow and has the unicorn. Yes. Scotland. Scotland is correct. All right. What is the largest prime number less than 20? 19. Yes. 19. 19 is the answer. Which armed service branch has its motto, Semper Fidelis, meaning always faithful? Yes. The Marines. Marines is correct. And your final question. Which geography term designates a hill or mountain from which gases, ashes, or molten rocks are ejected during active periods? Yes. Volcano. Volcano is the answer we're looking for. All right, Elida, it's your turn now. Here's the score. Elida, you have 30 points. Van Wert has gained, and they are at 65. So five questions were five points apiece. Identify the wooden flute with eight or nine finger holes in front, one thumb hole at the back, and a whistle-like mouthpiece. Yes. A fife. A fife is incorrect. Recorder is the answer we're looking for. Name the word that designates a giant wave caused by volcanic eruptions. Yes. Tsunami. Tsunami is correct. All right. In the Bible, who was the brother of Mary and Martha? Time is up. The answer is Lazarus. All right, two questions remaining in the second round. Who was the third president of the United States? Yes. Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson is correct. And your final question, which river does the George Washington Bridge span? Yes. Delaware. That is incorrect. It's the Hudson River. All right. We've come to the end of our second round now. Elida, you have 40 points. Van Wert with 65. We're entering the round where, again, we have 10 questions. We're 10 points apiece. They're all up for grabs. Get the buzzers ready. And here we go. Number one, what is the square root of 25? Yes, Van Wert. Five. Five is correct. What is the marshmallow candy shaped like chicks called? Yes, man word. Peeps. Peeps is the answer. Name the sea creature that is referred to as calamari when it is prepared. Yes, Elida. Squid. Squid is the right answer there. What is the capital of Wyoming? Yes, that would be Van Wert. Cheyenne. Cheyenne is correct. All right, moving on now. Number five. In which year did the UN Security Council approve military action against North Korea for its aggression against South Korea? Yes, that would be Elida. 51, 1951. 51 is incorrect. Van Wert, you want to try? 1952. Also incorrect, it's in 1950. Oh. All right, number six. Name the scroll of holy scriptures or Jewish holy book. Yes, that would be Elida. The Torah. Torah is correct. 
Which agreement signed aboard ship in 1620 pledged yes, that would be Van Wert? The Mayflower Compact. The Mayflower Compact is the correct answer. Okay, teams, you have three questions remaining in your game. Identify the phrase that designates the day on which a military action takes place, especially June 6th. Yes, that would be Elida. D-Day? D-Day is the answer there. Which game includes the quaffle? The, yes, that would be Elida. Quidditch? Quidditch is the answer. And your final question of the game here. Complete the name of the U.S. top civilian award for public service. The presidential, yes, that would be Van Wert. Medal of Honor. That is incorrect. So, yes, Elida. The Congressional Medal of Honor. That is also incorrect. What we're looking for is the Presidential Medal of Freedom. All right, we've come to the end of our game now between Elida and Van Wert. Here is our final score. Elida, 80 points. Van Wert, you are the winners with 105. So congratulations, Elida, well played. Thank you for joining us this season. And we'll be back with our second game right after this. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928, and by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. All right, in case you just joined us, we wrapped up a game between Elida and Van Wert, and Van Wert will be moving on to the semifinals. They'll be taking on the winner of this game, just about ready to get started now, between Versailles and Delphus Jefferson High Schools. We want to introduce you to some familiar faces once again. We have Sam Stockler playing for Versailles, Alex Grillo, Kennedy Hughes, and Jamie Holscher. Versailles is coached by Margie Trion. Welcome back. All right, turning now to Delphus Jefferson, Nicholas Kurth, Jacob Groach, Kara Gossman, and Emma Mueller. Delphus Jefferson is coached by Joshua Vasquez. Welcome back to all of you as well. All right, you know the routine. We have 10 questions here in this round. 10 points apiece. Again, as always, get those buzzers ready. And when you ring in, speak up for everybody playing along at home. All right, here we go. Question number one. Name the hard volcanic glass that ancient Americans used. Yes, Versailles. Obsidian. Obsidian is correct. Which word completes the title of Tennyson's poem, The Charge of the Light? Versailles. Brigade. Brigade is the answer. Give the acronym for radio detecting and ranging. Yes, that would be Delphus Jefferson. Radar. Radar is the answer. In which country did the Tet Offensive in 1968 shock American public opinion? Versailles. North Korea. That is incorrect. Delphus Jefferson, you've got a chance with this question. Yes. Vietnam. Vietnam is correct. Question number five. Give the two-word term for the illegal buying and selling of goods in violation. That would be Versailles. Black market. Black market is the answer there. All right, number six. Which war ended in 1763 with the treaty? Yes, that would be Delphus. The French and Indian War. French and Indian War is correct. All right, number seven in this first round here. Statins are a class of drugs often prescribed by doctors to do what? Yes, Delphus. Relieve pain. Relieve pain is incorrect. So Del or Versailles, you've got a chance here. Thin blood. Also incorrect. It lowers the cholesterol levels mm. in our blood. All right, number eight. 
What is the family of sharks named for the unusual and distinctive structure of, yes, that would be Delphus? Hammerhead. Hammerhead is the answer there. Okay, we have two questions remaining in this first round. Which bear is a hyper -carn carnivorous bear whose native range lies largely within the Arctic Circle? Yes, for sales. The polar bear? Polar bear is correct. And our final question in this first round. Identify the surname of British author J.K. Rowling's fictional student wizard named Harry. Yes, that would be Delphus Jefferson. Potter. Potter is the correct answer. All right, we've come to the end of round one. Here is our score. Another close one. We've got Versailles with 40 points, Delphus Jefferson with 50. Delphus, that means you're going to lead the second round with five questions, five points apiece. They're all yours. Name the famed Dutch post-impressionist painter who committed suicide in 1890. Yes. Vincent van Gogh. Vincent van Gogh is the correct answer. Name the period of severe dust storms that greatly damaged the ecology. Yes, that would be Delphus again. The Dust Bowl. The Dust Bowl is the answer. Very good. All right. Number three. Ornithologists are zoologists who specialize in the study of which animals? Yes, Delphus. Birds. Birds is the answer. Which amendment to the United States Constitution offers protection from unreasonable searches and seizures? Yes. Fourth Amendment. Fourth Amendment is correct, and you have one question remaining here. What are soldiers called who are hired to fight for another country? Yes, Delphus Jefferson. Mercenaries. Mercenaries is the answer. Very good. All right, moving over to Versailles now. Here's the score. Delphus Jefferson, you are now at 75 or sales with 40. Five questions, five points apiece. Which African-American scientist was known as the peanut man? Yes. George Washington Carver. George Washington Carver is the answer. All right, name this symbol from Egyptian myth, a bird said to arise from its own ashes every 500 years. Yes. Phoenix. Phoenix is correct. What term beginning with the letter N designates a nerve cell? Yes, for sales. Neuron. Neuron is correct. Which great German-born scientist was offered the presidency of Israel in 1952 but declined? Yes, for sales. Uh, Einstein. We will accept that. Albert Einstein is the answer. And your final question in the second round. Name the American author of The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. Mark Twain. Yes. Mark Twain. Mark Twain is the answer. Very good. All right, we've come to the end of our first two rounds. Here is the score. Delphus Jefferson with 75 points, Versailles with 65. We'll be back with our final round after the break. Don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers. The Taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships. Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai. The home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. All right, welcome back, everyone. We are in the middle of a tight game right now between Delphus Jefferson and Versailles High Schools. The score right now, Versailles with 65 points. Delphus Jefferson, you have 75. We're moving into our final round. Again, 10 questions, we're 10 points apiece. Everybody ready? Okay, let's take a deep breath and let's go. Number one, name the minute blood vessels that connect the arteries and the veins. Yes, that would be Versailles. Capillaries. Capillaries is correct. Which country is the world's second most populous? 
Delphus Jefferson. China. China is incorrect. So Versailles, you've got a chance. Yes. India. India is the answer there. Which animal did American cartoonist Thomas Nast popularize as a symbol of the Democratic Party? Yes, Delphus? The donkey. The donkey is the answer. In addition to George W. Bush, which other president of the United States was also the son of a U.S. president? Delphus Jefferson? Franklin Roosevelt? That is incorrect. Versailles? John Quincy Adams is the answer. All right, number five. Which state is home to South Bass Island State Park? Yes, that would be Versailles. Alaska? Alaska is incorrect. Delphus Jefferson, you want to try? Yes. Colorado? Also incorrect. The answer is Ohio. We'll have to visit sometime. All right, number six. Name the life-sustaining blood cleansing procedure that replaces kidney action. Yes, Delphus. Dialysis. Dialysis is correct. What is the name of the lion cub in the Disney movie, The Lion King? Yes, Versailles. Simba. Simba is the answer. All right, we have three questions remaining. And our score is currently tied, both teams with 95 points. Name the branch of science which deals with celestial objects, space. Yes, that would be Versailles. Astrology. Astrology is incorrect. Delphus, you want to try? Astronomy. Astronomy is the answer we're looking for. All right, two questions remaining. Identify the group who, produ who produced the album, Sa I'm sorry, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, Versailles. The Beatles. The Beatles is the answer. And we have one question remaining in this game. Which president was stricken with poliomyelitis at the age of 39? That would be Versailles. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. For sales, that is the correct answer, and we have a final score. Delphus Jefferson with 105 points. For sales, 115. Congratulations, for sales. You'll be moving on into our semifinals. Delphus Jefferson, well played game once again. Thank you for joining us this season. We want to thank you for playing along at home. We'll see you back here next week. Bye bye, everyone.